Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be painting the tree with the swing. So get your canvas out and ready. You're going to need your mixing plate with a little bit of your paint color scooped out, a jar or a cup of some sort to put water in to clean your brushes and a paper towel to dry your clean brushes. And I have an assortment of brushes, different sizes. So yes, we have that. Um. And this one, I think maybe we should use a Sharpie. So a black Sharpie is highly recommended. I can't bug for any other brands. Um, they may bleed into your paint. The black Sharpie brand does not. Um, I'm just going to come up and maybe come over some of these smaller branches. Just trace over my line. We're going to paint over this. And... I think the pencil would probably still show through, but just to be on the safe side, let's just outline them with Sharpie and we don't have to worry about it. Now I didn't draw on all the little branches. Um, you can leave it as is. But while we're painting, I'm probably going to add in a few smaller ones. And that would be up to you whether you want to add in those smaller ones as well. Um, I don't really need to do the bottom line. It's just going to be black. I will do the tree, the little swing. And give that just a moment to set dry. I don't want to smear it. Um, meanwhile, I can mix up some paint. The top portion is going to be reddish. I want to darken it just a little, so I'm just going to take a little bit of blue on my brush, stir in with a lot of red. It just takes it down a little, little slightly different color. I might want a little bit more mixed up. I just don't want to run out. I'm just making a little bit more. And you can see it's just a little bit darker than the original red on the plate. I'm just gonna scrape this out because I want to use my great big brush. I'm using my big brush. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm going to take my red paint and go right over. I want to fill in all those little canvas holes. So I get a nice even layer. And you can see that Sharpie shows through nice. Don't have to worry about seeing those lines for the tree. Okay, as I work downward, I'm going to start adding in yellow. So some yellow on my brush. Overlap slightly. And I'm getting this orangish color. And I want to mute that some. So I'm going to add a little bit of white in also. Just right on top. And just kind of brush it over back and forth. And as I work down, more white. And then back and forth, back and forth until it blends nice. More white. And see my brush is dirty. It's leaving behind some other colors. We want that. We want that streakiness. Oops, a little... A little messy there. I'm going to do a nice long strokes from edge to edge. And I'm going to work in more yellow. Just yellow on my brush. And yes, that's very bright right now. But I'm going to take white again. Right over top. Mute it. Tone it down so it's not as bright. I just overlap right into the other. And this is kind of a quick process. We want the paint to stay wet. 
so that it is good and blendable. I just took more white, just kneading that a little bit more. And again, more white all the way down to this line at the bottom. And maybe just a little bit more yellow. Yellow is the strong color as far as taking on the tint. Oh, I'm gonna get a little bit more up in here. No, I kind of like that. That's pretty. I'm good with that. So any variation, you know, I mean, you could have a thicker red spot. You could have a shorter yellow. It just depends on how wide you made your color stripes. Um, any is fine. It will all look very cool when finished. We're gonna let that dry and we're gonna pretty much paint everything black. Um, I'm gonna blow dry just to speed up the process. You're going to fill in your tree. I'll do this bottom portion here as well. Um, use whatever brush size you feel comfortable with. I'll use a big one until I get to tiny little areas. And then I'll switch to something smaller. So just using, I'm going to flip this so I can get the bottom easily. I'm just going to fill this bottom in all black. Later we could put in a little blades of grass and things. But for now, I'm just getting the base area. Just filled in nice solid black. And I can flip back. Well, I can do the bottom of this tree, I guess. Make sure you get the Sharpie line covered. You don't want that showing around the outside edges of your tree. All right, I'm gonna switch brushes. Flip it back over. I should be perfectly fine to be able to reach all that. You can take your time going around, getting all those little branches. I know they're kind of, some are little and kind of a little pain in the butt. But you just take your time, you'll be just fine.
like some wet, wet light color on it from the edge. I touch that up so it's dry. So at this point, if you want to go in and add some smaller branches, feel free. I just drew on like the basic ones because it just, it's very time consuming and it's a lot easier to just kind of freehand in those tiny branches because all trees are different. All branches are a little bit different. So I'm going to go in and just add a few little ones, maybe an extra one off of here. There's some extra ones here. Nothing major. Just to kind of fill in some of the area a little bit more. I'll probably have one here. Just wherever, that's good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the strings of my, the ropes on the swing. And just, I thin out my paint just a little. I dip my brush in water and stir the water into my paint. It just helps with line work. Um, helps to keep the paint a little bit thinner. It just goes on a lot smoother. So just a little bit of water stirred in. And I'll come down right over those marker lines. Not perfect, but pretty good. Make sure this is dry before I drag my hand across it. I am 
super shaky today. And I'm going to go ahead and outline the bottom part with this long skinny brush, the feet. If I can get better corners with this brush, then I can go in with my other small square brush and fill it in. Ooh, I am very shaky. Just getting the extra paint off my brush. And I'll go in with my small, my little small square one. And just get the rest of that filled in. Oops, I got a little weird there. Next, I'm going to add in some grass. I'm going to use my long skinny brush. Just it's like kind of stems because I'm going to dab in like little flowers. So just very narrow little lines. I go with from the bottom up with my brush. And you can do some that are a little longer. Yeah, I've got some thin paint that background is showing through. Just trying to get that covered. You just go through and just add a bunch of little, little lines. And I change direction. I'm not just up and down like this across. I kind of angle one way or the other, overlapping. And then maybe just kind of put in some little black dots kind of all over. Like little flower heads. And then just dabbing in a little bit. Kind of haphazardly random. Little clusters here and there. Just little dabs. Using a very small brush. I'm gonna let that dry. Oh, let's put in some little birds. I'm not very good at these, but I'm gonna try. Okay, right up here, just do the little swoopy wing kind of birds. There's one, maybe a bigger one. Oh my goodness, I did it. Look at me go. Okay, I'm gonna blow this dry just to ensure everything is dry. And I'm gonna put in some blue flowers and put a heart on the tree. white into it just a little so I'm gonna take a little scoop of white and just stir into quite a bit of blue so I still want it nice and like a nice dark blue just lighten slightly that'll help the blue show up and I'm gonna use my itty bitty brush again well let's start with this let's see what happens I'm just gonna kind of dab in 
little bits of blue, little flower heads, just kind of random dabs overlapping onto the grass and on the little black dots we put in. It looks pretty. I don't like it. Some a little bit higher. It's up to you. I can do some maybe a little bit lower even. Make this nice and full. I'm going to just take the regular blue, just a little, I got that lighter blue on my brush, so I'm just kind of stirring whatever was on my brush into a little bit of the darker blue. And I'll just put in a few of those. You can't probably see the difference in color through the camera, but right up on it you can. And it just adds a little, little variation in there, so they're not all the same color. So lastly, I'm just going to take my long skinny brush and add a little water into some white paint. Don't, don't worry that your water is, you know, a little tinted from cleaning your brushes. That's fine. That little bit of color is not going to show. And just very carefully, I'm going to just paint a little heart. It's going to have a long bottom. And if you want to put initials in there, feel free. I'm going to leave mine alone. Just cause, just cause. And I'm going to sign my name right down here. How about, how about a real dark red? So I got my dark red, I'll add a little bit more black to it. Maybe less black. So it will show up, but be very faint cause I'm going to paint right on black. I like to, Add a little water. Again, it's easier for line line work. This brush isn't really the best for doing my name, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And done. Um, if you want to go back in and maybe touch up, I've got a few spots where I can see the background coming through. Um, if you want to go back in with black and hit those areas again, feel free. I'm just gonna end the video because. I mean, you get the gist at this point. It's basically done. So any touch-up work, you can just do on your own. If I look at mine, something I see, again, is just kind of, I can see a little bit of the background coming through some of my tree branches. So ideally, I would go back in and just a little bit of black and fill that in a little better. Um, if you have any Sharpie lines showing on the outside edges, go back in and cover those. Otherwise, color good you're done uh, i like seeing your finished painting so take pictures and post to my pinned post on my facebook page willy nilly it's right at the top of the page can't miss it i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks